Hello everyone, this is Reverend Andy from Paranormal Investigators of Moody, Texas. And I wanted to reach out to our fellow paranormalists and amateur enthusiasts. Um, we're going to start doing a little bit something different in how we repackage our, our videos and present them. We wanted to not only give some uh, real investigative uh, footage that we've done, but we also want to start doing some how-to videos. And I know, uh, you know, that other groups um, have, have done that, and that is great. Uh, I think you'll find, though, that each and every group does things a little bit differently. Um, the equipment is great, but the usage uh, of the equipment, uh, the time that you use the equipment, where you use the equipment is all very, very important. Um, what you can see in front of you now is one of our investigations that we did, and we were using this camera right here uh, you can see that this has got infrared and a lot of um, LEDs that help to create a well infrared lit room that you see in front of you keep in mind that we're in the dark you can see that one light shining off basically what's giving you that vision is this camera right here now to the lower left of the screen you will find a still photo and that is an image that we caught looking straight back uh, at, to the lower left corner of that attic and we investigated everything we, we lit it back up and what you'll find here is that there's no animal uh, we took a series of photos and we actually caught the morphing of that shadow figure into that corner and that's the manifestation after it, it, it happened. It was only there for a, a few seconds. We also got some growling and things like that. Uh, but you can see that it's like leaning over the air conditioner duct uh, as if it's crouching in the corner. We were giving a blessing up there because the person whose house uh, this is was feeling some oppression, having trouble sleeping, um, all the classic signs of oppression um, you know there's other cameras out there and by the way the camera that we use is funneled through a, a quad uh, like this and basically what that does is allows us to give the feed uh, into our DVR or PC we have a program for both we use a DV that runs on Linux uh, I'm sorry we use a DVR a digital video recorder that runs on Linux uh, but we can also place it on this quad and we have a program on our computer uh, which we can manipulate to to high and low resolution uh, frames per second is very important also um, and you'll notice on my camera I don't know if you can see it right here but I use a lid and the reason I use the lid is because a lot of groups kind of you, you've got some groups that are for orbs and some that are against uh, our group tends to run with some con with, with some uh, um, you know, we, we always throw a little caution to the wind. We, we have skepticism, uh, even though we know from a shadow of a doubt that the other side exists, we still approach everything with skepticism. You'll notice from the video to the, to the right here, we were using this camera and to get back to the lid, this helps to avoid any dirt floating directly into the screen. Uh, as the camera is angled to the position, desired position that we want to cover. You'll notice here that you're getting uh, some orbs floating around as I walk. Uh, you can see that the fan was off, the air conditioner was off, there was no airflow. You'll notice that these orbs that you see here do not show, uh, if it was, um, if it was uh, dust, what you'd see is like a flurry at the same time whenever I, I walk on the ground. Uh, here, what you see, there's no, if there was bugs, you, you'd kind of see a fluttering of, of wing, wings going by. What you see here is something deliberate. You see something that's kind of watching what we're doing as we watch what they're doing. Um, so, you know, uh, going back to cameras, when you catch stuff like this, it is, it is imperative to use a good camera so that you can help 
to weed through the evidence and, and, and try to limit it, limit any contamination that might exist. Uh, and therefore, you can either give a better, uh, you, you can better decide whether it's something that can be debunked or is a possibility of paranormal activity. Um, I thank you guys for your time. We're going to start putting out more videos like this, how-to videos using different pieces of equipment that we use, K2, millimeters, uh, laser grids, and, and high-power audio uh, microphones, unidirectional, uh, unidirectional and, and multi-directional mics, that kind of thing. So, uh, hey, and if you guys have any feedback, we are, are wide open. We, we definitely love hearing from other people and their experiences. Uh, you know, we're just one group in the vast sea of many people. Uh, that that are in this field. So I uh, thank you very much again. This is Reverend Andy from Paranormal Investigators of Moody, Texas, and we will talk to you guys soon. Thank you very much.